This Bigfoot sighting report was sent to us by a gentleman that wants to go by S. C. Those are his initials. Anyone send us their Bigfoot sighting report and wants to stay anonymous, we will keep you anonymous. Most people do. It's understandable. This Bigfoot sighting report is from out of Dryden, Ontario, Canada. If you would like to see your Bigfoot sighting report on our blog and our YouTube channel, please email us at rmsobigfoot at gmail.com. SC writes RMSO, I love this stuff. I believe I seen one myself. I was hunting one hour north of Dryden, Ontario. Me and another guy went to a spot on an old logging road. It was half grown in. We stopped at a ridge with about 50 yards up and then 300 yards down to water. We were in new growth trees. The guy I was with said he seen a moose, so I dropped him off and I went further back in. I overlooked the ridge and seen this guy walking down in the trees. I thought, well, I screwed up his hunt. All I could think, I hope he don't get mad at me, because this guy was big. But he was not in Hunter Orange. Just a big brown jacket. But I could see his shoulders twist as he walked through the trees. I'm 245 pounds and he was bigger. Ten minutes later, my friend called on the radio. He was coming out. Then he said he's seen a moose. We tried to get it, but it got out between us and was gone. Two years later, I seen there were trees all piled up like a teepee like on Les Stroud's one video. Looked around, and no way they fell this way. I was a good mile in the woods, felt real funny, and I got back out to the train bed. So thinking about it, I think I seen Bigfoot. Let me know what you think, and I don't need smart-ass comments. Thanks. RMSL responds, Thanks for relaying your experience. After you realized it may have been a Bigfoot that day, were you able to determine the size of the humanoid by looking at the surrounding trees that it walked near? How far was the structure from the creature you saw? SC responds, The size I can't say for sure. I just thought that's the biggest guy I've ever seen. He was 150 yards from me, shoulders 3 feet wide, well over 6 feet tall. I went down after looking to see just how hard it would be to walk through if I got a moose. It was so thick, I never even tried to get to it. Just from your videos and interviews, it hit me at when I seen early September around the 15th of 2012. It has always been on my mind. Just because of how big the guy or it was, to this day, I can still see him walking through the trees. Thanks for taking interest in my story. You keep up the work you're doing. Love the videos and interviews. RMSO responds. Appreciate hearing about your encounter. If this creature truly exists, I am sure a lot of sightings get dismissed as another person. There is a trove of sighting reports where the witness thought it was an odd person at first, taller, bigger, and usually wearing a large fur coat from head to toe, then realize it isn't a person, so I'm sure they get spotted and get dismissed as a hiker or a hunter. SC responds, the structure was two to three miles away as the crow flies and one hour north from Dryden down an old rail bed and a mile west in the woods. I would say no one ever been in there. We tracked a moose in there the year before. I marked the trail so I went in by myself, got to a clearing, seen the structure like teepee, looked all around, no stumps. Some trees were stumped up, so I got the hell out of there with eyes open all the way back. It's been six years. Only in these spots and once I can still take you into them. It's embedded in my head. This is Kelly responding. Hey SC, we really appreciate hearing about your Bigfoot sighting report. Very interesting. It's pretty cool that you found a teepee like structure near where you saw the creature in a remote area, a place that you don't think someone would uh, 
go. As a matter of fact, you were stating that you don't think anybody ever goes back there. Yeah, sometimes we find these teepee structures in Bigfoot sighting locations, and there's no rhyme or reason. You can tell that the logs have been put into place. It's really odd when we come up to one of these structures and we can see the impression where the deadfall was laying on the ground like 50 feet away. So, you know the wind did not pick up a 200 pound log and put it up into a tree. And then sometimes we find these on slopes and it just doesn't make sense for someone to make a structure on an uncomfortable slope. When someone's making a primitive structure, they try to find the most level place they can to build those. If you watch any of the survival shows, and if you make one yourself, it, you're going to have a really rough night if you make it on a hillside. So anyway, we really appreciate hearing about your Bigfoot sighting. These Bigfoot sightings get us into the places where people see Bigfoot for our investigations, and it also gives researchers worldwide an insight into Bigfoot's life activities and what Bigfoot may be up to. It also gives us insight into the areas that Bigfoot likes, its habitat, what it may like to eat, and the other animals it associates with. I hope everybody enjoyed SC's Bigfoot sighting from Canada. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.